One of the reasons is that it is just as hard for MLVs to build this translation infrastructure as for anyone. We thought we can do really well with the tech that enables making the translation process as easy as possible. Another thing though is the quality element. When you think about translation, all of us are always thinking about cost. But as a consumer product, I deeply think about quality every day, all the time. I really want the best quality. How do I get the best quality? I get the best quality the closer my relationship is to the actual person who translates the content or who translates the words for us. Pre-pandemic, we used to have a translation summit every year at then Facebook, now Meta, where we would invite all the key translators of all of our major languages into mm -hmm. one big room in Dublin or in Menlo Park, and we would have a big summit. And the exchange was incredible. Now, of course, we can't invite all translators, but we can invite maybe a couple of lead translators or so. And they go back with all this knowledge about the product, about the context, about how we want to do things. This really also encouraged us to go directly to SLV because the more you can minimize the process from the actual product where the fewer people are in between that line, the better your quality is going to be. And that's really important. It's cost effective, but it's really quality significant. We've seen the results of this. We've seen the engagement. So this is something that was quality driven, cost driven, and circumstantial in terms of let's figure out how to source these languages driven.